<laughs> this is John, and as somebody once told me, coincidences are small miracles in which God chooses to work. <laughs> I don't. Uh-huh. Like-minded. Nikola Tesla said, to understand the keys to the universe, you need to understand resonance, frequency, and vibration. So you guys just, some of you, may have just seen my post where I talked about trying to get sober for the first time and some of the challenges. I'm sitting here looking at a field, up pulls in the middle of this field, in the middle of quote unquote nowhere, pulls Dan, who is not just the local artist, but go ahead Dan, you tell him. This is not nowhere, this is somewhere. Okay. <laughs> And is it over the rainbow? Yes! <laughs> it's all over the rainbow. Dan just told me, 29 years sober, correct? 29 and a half. 29 and a half. And he's talking about the voice in his head that tells him he's no good. What did I just say? Your mind's a bad neighborhood. Don't go there alone. <laughs> and True. The, the, the penult, that's the penultimate statement. The ultimate one is, your mind's a bad neighborhood. Don't go there at all. <laughs> Good audience. Don't get into a street fight with your mind. You're going to lose every time. I'm sitting here, and by no coincidence, in the middle of this field, up pulls another artist. Some of you guys know what I do. Another artist with a similar path to mine with the same thing I was just saying on my very last post. And that's not a coincidence. If you don't think that some greater power is working in your life to reach out to you, to touch you, to bring you to wholeness, then I would suggest you look a little harder. Because look what life brought me. Life brought me Dan. I was sitting here, not just minding my own business, I was minding God's business. And what showed up? A brother. A bro brother, sister, whatever you want. <laughs> whatever he wants to be. <laughs> just, just, he's going to express. He's just going to go crazy. 20 years old, but tell us about the voice in your head. I'm curious about that. It tells me that I'm not good enough. That I, I, that I'm gonna fail. That I must just go get some food and eat. No, no, I, 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 this is my job, my job is, and, and part of the reason why I'm alive is because God won't be, be, be here to be not, and, and, and that's what I do. And that's what he does, and that's how he shares his gift with the world, and what do you do to deal with the voice in your head, the, the, the serpent voice, the one that tells you you're no good? I create. He creates. I create. How beautiful is that? He I, creates. I, I, I turn it over to God. He turns it over to God. And just remember, the bulk of God is odd. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know that one. <laughs> huh? There's another one for you. I, I got a captured audience. I'm not letting this guy go anywhere. He's a good laugher. <laughs> He's a good... No cover charge. But I'm going to take a painting before I go. Well, you're going to stand over there because you're bright and <laughs> <laughs> He's pushy. He's pushy, but you know what? He is forgiven. Dan, what a gift meeting this guy today. Thank you for, for sharing oh, all this. I am so happy you're here. And I'm happy he's here. Huh? How about that? <laughs>